Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Hey, I'm back with another video. Check this out. Today's video, I'm just sitting here preparing food for the dogs. And this is just something I do on occasion, so I just wanted to share it with y'all. It's not much, but from time to time, what I like to do, I like to switch it up on the dogs every now and then. They're actually so they don't continue to keep eating the same thing constantly and getting the same taste. Um, I don't do all the raw on a regular, but I still do the raw. But every now and then, I like to go to the canned dog food. And I mean, it's like, you can use different, different variety of canned dog food. I tend to just pick out a bunch of different ones and then I just pay attention to see which one on, you know, that they like the most, you know, which one they like best. So today I'm just doing a retriever, um, chicken and rice. I got chicken and rice and then I got chopped beef. Uh, I want to say the other one that I also be using, I also use um, uh, pedigree. I also use pedigree too. I got different ones, varieties of feed. Uh, that's pedigree beef. This one here is uh, pedigree chicken. And like I say, I just mix it up, you know, just get a dog's a different taste. And man, I say, when I tell you it's a difference, once they know that that feed bowl is over here for that, uh, that they getting canned food with it, and they act totally different. And so I had to, in order to shoot this video, had to keep my son over there on that side <laughs> so they wouldn't cut up, you know? Because if he come over here and, he, and they know he coming to get this food, man, chaos gonna break off in the kennel. So what I actually did, I'm gonna break it down. I'm just pulling the last of the tops off so I can go through this so I don't take up a whole lot of y'all time out there. But you already watching to this point, you would smash that like button for me. Also hit that bell notification so you can stay updated with all the latest content over here at EAR Bullets. I greatly appreciate it. So check this out. <clears throat> what I actually did was, if y'all can see in the bowls, what I'm using, I have dry kibble, which is a normal dry kibble. And I use the value pack, purple bag. I also, I have a canned dog food. I also have my co mega. That's what's actually in this right here. I always put a little co mega on there. And if y'all don't know, you know, co mega, you can look it up. I think I got another video I did it. It just got a bunch of, it just got a bunch of different vitamins in it. Uh, like I say, your omega uh, three and sixes and omega nines. Good vitamin, good vitamin helps your dogs right there too. And also right here, y'all can see that right there. This here is some de earth, diatomaceous earth. That there is like a natural wormer, which you use the worm dogs out, actually clean the system out. So I like to get it from time to time to help clean the dog system out. So basically, y'all, one thing I'm doing. I'm just actually going through, get each one on a can, mix everything up, put all the ingredients and stuff in now. I hope they don't start smelling it. Hey, y'all gonna have to forgive me if they start cutting up. It's gonna be totally out of my control. You know what, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, well, no, I'll take y'all on through it. Oh. All right, Joy, you can't come over this way. You know, you start coming this way. You hear him already whining. y'all something. I actually added this to my kennel just for this purposes right here. I was just trying to do it in the house. Then bring it out here to the dogs. Man, it's such a hassle. Then when you start accumulating more and more dogs, I mean, it get even harder. So that's actually why I did this so that I can bring you content and show you 
right here in the kennel where the dogs at. So I don't have to do all this traveling. And what you see, like I say, this is all dog stuff anyway. So, you know, it's, it's, the dog, it's the dog house. You know what I'm saying? The ones of y'all that this is your first time actually seeing it, this is the kitchen inside of where the kitchenette prep, I call it the prep area inside the kennel. If it's your first time actually watching this video. That's all it is. It's just a prep area I made just for the dogs. I will be adding some other essentials in here that I need. Sink and everything. Keep the trash can right there on deck. That's where y'all see me all doing that. Like I say, that's all I'm doing right now. Just preparing to feed all the dogs. This is all we're doing right now, just really getting all the cans and stuff mixed in. And just show y'all how I do it. I'm gonna tell y'all too, I mean, there's a lot of people out there, they do it. You know, a lot of people don't like canned dog food. I mean, they'll tell you, you know, you should be using beef and raw and all that. And I do do that on occasion, but I like to mix it up. And to me, I've been feeding canned dog food with dry for a long time, so I've never had issues with it. So that's why I continue to do this. And like I said, it's been working good for me. I mean, for us putting weight on dogs, maintaining them. I mean, it's, and then like I said, it's just something to give your dog, you know what I'm saying, a different taste. I don't want to continue to keep on getting that same taste every day. I don't care what it is. Whether you're feeding raw or whatever, you know, you, you mix your raw up and you put vegetables in it, you give them fruits. I mean, you mix it up. You give them a different taste because that way your dog's gonna get burnt out on just eating on just eating one way. So that's basically how I'm doing it, you know. You don't want them to get burnt out. And like I say, they love it, you know what I'm saying? They love it. As long as they love it, I love it. I love doing it for them as long as they love eating. We almost about got them prepared here. Got a few more. I'm gonna do the puppies last. They won't be in the mix with this first group. They're gonna be cutting up. I'm gonna let the puppies out and feed them on the outside or they kill them. But they get a little ugly too. These dogs get a little ugly when you put that dry off and put that can off in there now. They love it now, they love it. And like I said, it might be something that might help you. It might work for you. I just wanted to show it to y'all. I'll let y'all see what's going on over here. EAR Bullets is what we up to. The grind don't stop just because the video, you don't see no video. We still put that work in. We still put that work in. Say this some of them first time eating this brand but we get a chance to see how they do i know they've been eating the pedigree but we'll see how they do this here but i mean i already know they're gonna look then if i see them don't like it i won't use it no more y'all don't know how long this video gonna be I just want to bring y'all the content, let y'all see it. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all something to look at. Especially if you sitting there, you ain't going nothing else. Might as well check the video out. 
see what's going on. Right. Down for the pivot right there. I don't know how I want to feed them. I don't know if I, I know as soon as I start uh, taking it in there, that's when the chaos begins. At least it normally begins. They might surprise me this time, but I doubt it though. start bringing these, bring these bowls over here on this side. Oh, they cut up. They cut up bad. So let me just show y'all what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it up. That's all I'm doing. Mix my pan and the dry together. mixed up. What I like to do now is uh, take the coat mega and put it in the feed just a little. Put in each one on feed. Put like a little, you know, a little squirt from end to end in a circle. Alright. Now after I do that, I like to take my de-earth, give me a little spoonful, sprinkle across the feed. Take a spoon, I'll probably do about half on each one on. It'd be looking like a lot, but it's really not that, that much. And like I say, this de-earth, y'all, is like a natural warmer. If your dog got any type of worms and stuff, it'll, it'll take care of that now. Don't take much. And that's it. And that's it. We got the oil in there, the deer. Then I like to just come back through and just mix the deer off in there. Let it get in there real good. You know how to get it just perfect. You just want to kind of get it mixed up in there some. And that's all I'm going to do on each one of them. And it'll be going up a teeth. They'll be ready to go. That's all I'm doing. And I highly recommend that deer earth, y'all. I mean, food, food grade deer earth now. I highly recommend that. It's a good natural warmer. Oh, 
I'm gonna show you how we all, uh, we kind of share this workload. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing all the work, but uh, my son on deck right now. He on deck, ready to go. Everything prepared. Go ahead and all uh, give it a go ahead and take y'all in. Let y'all see when my son giving it to the dogs. I know they're gonna probably cut up if they get too loud. Y'all, I will. No, I'm gonna just have to give it to y'all raw and I cut. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all just stay tuned. We're gonna get ready to take them on in. Oh, yeah, they finna watch you drop it. Yeah, they finna watch you drop it. Turn around the right way so you don't drop it. Come on, so you grab another. <laughs> and what we're gonna do, y'all, we're gonna hang them on the outside. Then we're gonna go ahead and give them at one time. The only person won't actually get one, get no can is Jack. And you know the dog and he Jack don't really, and he's really not a can eater. He normally just like dry. I try to give him regular feed, uh, other feed and treats. He don't really care for it. So and you can see, you already see all uh, how they acting. Hey, hey, Zeus, come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Don't do it like that, Zeus. Come on, man. Come on, grab this other one right here. Just set on the dog food. Just. Or did you want to go ahead and get them nails now? It's on you. It's your call. You gonna wait? All right. You gonna go ahead and do who? So leave it up. So who you gonna start with? You gonna start over here? Okay, go ahead. We got you. And we just hung them up to the outside to take them in. Let y'all see. See them eat from this point. Cause I already know they know what time it is. And you already see they automatically going in. So what I'm doing now, y'all, I'm actually go ahead and get uh, Jack feed, let him go ahead and feed Jack. See, I want to feed, hey, 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 I want to feed them first because I know Zeus going to cut up. But Joe, I want to start on this side, so that's cool. Come on. Y'all, we're trying, we're going a little faster than we normally do, but y'all, we're trying not to make it extremely too long for y'all, but we're trying to get y'all some, some good content here. You know what I'm saying? You know, he still go in. It don't make no difference. Dry. Like I say, y'all actually get a chance to see. I mean, like I say, they go in on that dry real good with that can, and uh, they love it. They love it. I mean, you can see, you can see how they're tearing into it. to the spot because they already know where it's coming to. They ain't thinking about trying to come out. They done wore themselves out too. We had let them out a little earlier. Y'all had them running around in here and then they start acting up. And this dude here it's, he's some seed with here. You got him, Jordan? Yeah, I got him. Okay. 
Control. Take control of the situation. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy. All right. Now we've been having to work with him. My son got him. He's doing, he doing a good job. And as y'all can see, y'all can see everybody, everybody's going in, puppies, they just sitting over there waiting. Ain't nobody missing a beat over here. Everybody going in on that feed. I'm telling they love that, they love that can. I know you might hear a lot of people that may talk bad about it. Hey, I go with what work. At the end of the day, you go with what work. Can't worry about what other people think. As y'all can see, they don't play. They don't, even, they don't even give them a chance to get the feed bowl snapped back on. And you see how they're going in. Look at them. Just want them to check them out. See how everybody going in. They love when you put that canned dog food in there with that dry. And I'm going to tell y'all too, especially in the wintertime, if you are needing to put some weight on your dogs, it really helps a lot. Really helps. And you see the puppies, they, they want to get in on some of that action too. But we're about to get ready to feed them anyway, so... I just wanted y'all to see it for yourself. We don't do all that making up stuff, pretending like stuff work that don't work. We're gonna try it. If it work, we're gonna let y'all know about it. So we're gonna get ready to get this together for the puppies and we're gonna let them out so we can feed them. The puppies want something so bad, they over there couldn't have one other thing, y'all. One other thing. I just want y'all to listen, just listen. You hear that noise? That's them cages rattling for them dogs loving what they're doing. So they're letting you know that they really love this feed when you mix it with that can with that with that uh canned dog food. Because if you just be quiet, just like if I just be quiet and just let you listen, that's all you hear. Look here. Look here. Last last, last two to feed. First two to finish. Look here. Finish. Look at that. You see what he's doing? He's licking the bowl. He told me, you ain't got to clean it out. We got it. Look at that. Look at that. Licking, licking the bowl clean. Loving it. Everybody going in. Just letting y'all see it firsthand. How everybody going in. She ain't got but a little corner left. Same thing. Look at that. Jay looking all on the side of the bowl. Look at that. That lets you know they're loving it. If they didn't love this, okay, well, nobody tell you. They wouldn't even be trying to think about licking that. They probably would have left it alone. They made sure they cleaned that bowl. Same way. She's a slow eater, real pick eater, but she's still going in on her feet. And then let y'all see, too, this normally ain't what I do. He just took a dump, though. Check that out. See, my feet, my, my dump, I told y'all, if it ain't solid, I don't want it. Look at that. Look at that. Clean the bowl. The bowl clean. Good girl, mamas. Good girl. She clean that bowl. Look at that. He cleaned that bowl. He got straight dry though, but he's still cleaning. But you see, he took a dump. Who back, Jack? Jack. Let him see, Jack. I know I don't normally show stuff like that, but look at that. That's solid. That's a solid dump right there. That's what you want when you feed that feed. That's that value pack right there. That purple bag of value pack. And then you see my son. I already know how we do it. We don't play no games over here. We do not play no game when it comes to getting it up. We go ahead and get on it right then. Then he know they finished. He go ahead and pull their bowls up. We like to get to it, y'all. We don't, we all about business when we do this. We don't short, we don't shortcut anything over here. We give it to y'all. We let y'all see what we got going on. That's just how we do it. And then like I say, y'all up here, I done hit that 5K, man. Y'all done really motivated me. I mean, to go even harder. Y'all got me really shooting for that 10K now. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm really loving it. I, I really appreciate all the people that subscribe to the channel. And like I said, y'all just motivated me to just keep bringing you more and more content. But this is how we do it. And like I said, we will be all uh, doing the puppies. I don't know if I'm gonna let y'all probably add that part in. I mean, y'all done seen the puppies eat before. But I just wanna show y'all the mixture with the canned dog food, the Co-Mega, uh, vitamins, and then also the um, 
the diatomaceous earth, what we call the earth, or a natural warmer, cleaning system out. That way you don't have all dogs looking all bad and stuff. It'll help clean the system out. And you can mix that warm up, like the different warmers I give, that right there helps out too, so I don't have to keep continue, continue to give the same warmer every time. Okay, so y'all, we back. I just mixed the puppy feed up. Hey, 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 they want to bite on the things because they want out. We're about to get ready to feed them. I ain't really paying no attention at the feed there yet. I don't know why not. There they go. I say, y'all, I'm not going to keep this video. I just want to show y'all how we feeding the pups now. Oh, um, man, I'm telling y'all, this is what this is what that uh, mixing that feed actually do. Get my son to hold his head up for me a little bit. Yeah, so we see the chest. There you go. So y'all can see the dude here got some bone, chest, and everything on him. And this is showtime right here, y'all. This showtime. All right, y'all. Again, y'all. Hey. We out, y'all. Thanks for watching.